Uh, we had an interesting start to the morning, actually. Good morning, guys. Charles and I are on our morning walk. We are, well, we're sitting now. We're just chilling at the beach, enjoying the nice warm weather and the sound of the waves coming in. It's actually not too wee-wee, which is really good. So this is day four of camping at Brimley. It is Thursday. Uh, we had an interesting start to the morning, actually. I got woken up because my CPAP was off. And then I looked and I saw that my cell phone wasn't charging. I realized the power in our trailer was out. So then I told my husband, like, hey, the power's out. We must have tripped a breaker or something. And then he goes outside to check on things. And my brother and our friend Brad are also outside of their trailers because they thought they did something. Apparently the power was out to the entire park. Luckily, though, I was able to go back to sleep because trusty old Blue Eddie came in handy and I just plugged my CPAP into that and I was able to go back to bed. Power did eventually come back on. Um, honestly, in all my years of camping at Brimley, I've never had the power go out, so it was interesting, but it was fixed very quickly. So our plans for today is um, Pat had to go into town. He has a physiotherapy appointment for his shoulder, and then he's going to be bringing out my niece Mia with him so she can enjoy the festivities. And I think we're going to try to have a day at the beach, enjoy floating on the water if it's warm enough. It looks a little bit overcast, but it looks like the blue's coming out and it is quite warm. It's about 8.30 right now, so fingers crossed we'll be able to have a warm beach day today with no wind. Because yesterday it was kind of warm when the sun was out, but most of the time it was covered in clouds and there was a cold wind. So hopefully we can get to the beach today. So this is the Discovery Center that I told you guys before. Looks like they were doing an activity with the kids. Let's see how far you can jump compared to some of the animals. Six feet for a weasel, ten feet for a snowshoe hare. Cougar, forty feet. They really do some good programs at the Discovery Center. One problem we're running into right now though with um, Brimley that we haven't had before is there used to be garbage cans throughout the parking, throughout the campground, um, where you can put your doggy doo-doo bags, but they seem to have gotten rid of them. Now the only garbages that we found are in the day park, which is where I am now, and outside of the host site, which is right across from the day park, there's none on the other side of the park. There's not even garbage just sitting outside of the bathrooms. So I really hope that they bring those garbage cans back. And we're also running into the issue of accessibility. We have a friend who might be coming to visit us tomorrow who is in a wheelchair. And we're trying to figure out where we can go so that he can have access to the beach. We were thinking about the boat launch, which is over there. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like here. But there's rock on either edge of the boat launch, and then there's like a, a ledge. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. I wish Brimley was a little more accessible for people uh, to get down to the beach. <laughs> oh, 
So we've been waiting around all day to do this. We pretty much have done nothing today until Pat got back from physio at about two o'clock. And this is why we waited for him. We wanted to test out our new tube for floating in the lake. This is Austin. <laughs> this is our 10 man tube. You see it has um, eight seats, four with mesh, four without two coolers and then the middle here is also mesh you could probably sit people there if you want and this is from wow sports and it's the first time we got to try it out since we bought it i just wish it was a little bit more sunny out but the water is actually a lot warmer in lake superior than i thought it was going to be for the beginning of july well guys it's like six o'clock in the evening we figured it's probably time that we got out of the tube now and went and ate some supper so that's what's on the agenda next okay guys so i'm back in my campsite i'm making supper on my griddle making cheeseburger wraps so you see this is ground beef with mustard and ketchup plus there's some salt some pepper i used garlic technically i need should have used onions but i don't have any onions and nobody around me has onions so no onions but well, all you do is you mix this together, let it brown, throw it in a tortilla with some cheese, put it back on the griddle to heat, and there's cheeseburger wraps, and my family absolutely loves them. Okay guys, these are the finished products, these are the wraps. We pair it with a Caesar. It was a super simple supper for a day when you've been on the lake all day. Going off the pod? Okay. There's one thing about Brimley you guys should know, and is that it has the most beautiful sunsets. I don't know what it is about here, but the sunsets are always spectacular. well guys we had supper we just sat around so i'm going to end the vlog here it was a quick one because we just spent most of the day waiting around for the sun to come out and then we just spent the rest of the day on the lake so i hope you guys come back for the next one to see what we do on day five camping here at brimley state park make sure you like make sure you comment Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.